Welcome guys, in this tutorial we will see about the Outline and Icon button with ink. First let me declare the body and have the buttons in the center of the body and within the child widget let me have the icon button first let me save it now and see what happens so the error says that an icon button should not be null now let me define an icon within the button Now let me save it. So, you can see the icon but in a smaller size, let me increase the size now. Use icon size property, to alter the size of an icon. Now, we got the icon bigger but the color looks dull, let me change the color now, for this, use the color property within the icon, and change the icon color. Here, let me have it, in a purple color. Okay, now we got the icon in purple color. Every button, should have an on pressed event in it, as of now let me have it as an anonymous function. So, now you can tap the icon to do some work declared within the on pressed function. Next let me use splash color in this. Now you can see the splash effect. If you feel like it doesn't look like a button you can use ink. So, let me cover the button with the ink widget. Within this widget let me use shape decoration to modify the shape of the ink, first let me show it in a rectangular one. We have already used shape, in our previous tutorials, hope you remember. Now let me save it. Since both are of same colors, it is not visible, so now, let me change the ink color to, blue. Here you can see the blue color ink, which gives a button effect to the icon, now let me have it in a circular shape. So now we got it in the circular shape. That's all about the icon button and the ink, now let me add an outline button, below the icon button. Now, let me change this into a column widget to have an outline button along with this. I need both the buttons in the center, so, let me wrap the column with center and remove the another center widget. Now, let me save it. Now, let me fix the main axis alignment as center. Okay done, we got it in the center, now let me add the outline button. So, within the outline button, let me use child to have a text. Let me save it now. This is the outline button, as the name says. This button has only outline, now let me increase the font size. Ok perfect, we can also increase the border thickness in outline button. Use border side, and set the width property size, as you wish. As the outline looks dull, let me use black color. As the unpressed event is not declared the button looks as disabled one. Ok, next let's fix the width.
Now the border width is increased. Next, let's declare an anonymous on pressed function. OK, now, got the bright outline button. Next, let me, add speed within the outline button, so when the button is pressed the speed gets increased. For this first declare a double variable. Next, add the value of count within the outline button. To have the value of a variable, use dollar symbol and denote the variable within the curly braces. Now, you can see that, we have displayed the value of the count, which we have declared earlier, next we need to have an increment of the speed, when the button is clicked, for this use set state within the on pressed function. Within the set state, fix the incrementation value, here let me fix as 10, so when clicked once the value gets increment by 10. So, now you can see the value gets increment, when clicked. Next, let me change the increment value in the icon color. Hope you have learned something from this like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon button. For more Flutter videos view our channel.